How to resize an image in Photoshop. Go to image menu and then image size. Click that. And once you've done that, you'll notice here I've got centimeters, you might have inches, etc. But what you can do, you can set it to pixels. So set it to pixels and you can see the size, 1920. Now at the moment, these are not linked. So if I put 5,000 here, the other value will not change. If I link it, I can click there and you can see now, if I put 5,000 this time, the height will change. So now they're linked, so it's proportional, which is probably the best result. And resolution, you can set that as well to 300. You can also turn this off, the resample. So turn that off. At that point, you'll notice that you can't get access to pixels. You can only work in centimeters, millimeters, etc. So I'm just gonna keep that on. And you can vary the setting here. I'm just gonna go with automatic, but you can do it with preserve, bicubic, etc. And again, put that. So 5,000, 2,813 and click OK. And it resizes, you see now it's massive in comparison. So I go again to image, image size, you can see it's now 5,000. So let's just undo. Another option, you can always go to image menu and you go to canvas size and you can turn around and say, well, I don't want it to resize the image, but I want a bigger document. Well, if you want that, you can always put just a value 5,000 in there and 5,000. And then click OK. And this time you get the image, but it's right in the middle. So you can see the image there. But you've got a much bigger document. Another option is to go here to properties and you've got image size. So straight away with there, you've got here the move tool selected and you've got image size. So click that and you can see exactly the same as the image size before. Now a really good option if you want to resize this is to go here to filter and neural filters. And as soon as you've done that, you'll notice you've got all of these filters down here. Well, what you can do, go down here to super zoom. Now in all likelihood, it's gonna be turned off. So make sure it's on. You might have to download it. So super zoom and you've got this. You can see the image there and you can click here. Now, unfortunately, there's no way of resizing the other direction. So you can't make it by half or go the other way. It's super zoom. So it's making it a lot larger. But you can click and as soon as you click that, say, four times, and that's all it does, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, etc. Enhance to keep that on, and you can change the noise reduction, sharpen. And the key thing is new document. So go with new document. And now it takes a few seconds to process. And as soon as it's done the processing, you can click OK. And then you've got a much bigger resized document. So that's another great way of creating a resized or much larger document in Photoshop based on the original image. And the quality is pretty impressive. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Please subscribe to the Photoshop channel. Always adding new videos all the time about Photoshop and other things. Also, a like or dislike, always great to have. Thank you much.